Hi, this is Dylan with Bulldog Rooter again here at 625 South Elm Street, Spokane, Washington, 99204. I am pushed out about 180 or so feet, uh, just about as far as I could push, even while uh, running a bunch of water. Um, I couldn't load up any more water volume to try to help me push out as, any further. Um, due to having the, the clean out downstairs pulled. So I'm just going to inspect from here. Got lots of offsets and separations in the pipe just from settling. There's lots of uh, additional drain tie-ins here. Uh, we're in six inch diameter sewer pipe. And there's lots of sections that look like that, that just have a bunch of buildup. Um, looks like they're clogged at that point. Um, but 625 is clear. And here you see some stress fractured pipe. Fractured slash broken. This doesn't appear to even be the city yet. I don't know if this is considered private, all private, or what, but um, there's no schematics really for any of the houses down this street, down South Elm. No schematics for the neighbors. All they've ever done is a color test on these houses. I have no idea where this runs. What you will see in a lot of the 4 inch pipe is to clean the roots efficiently at all we had to jet at a pretty high PSI um, and that did uh, definitely chips kind of chipped the clay tile pipe as you can see here there's no way around it to get a good cleaning I didn't stay in one spot at all. I really, I worked it pretty slowly uh, through these joints, cleaning and clearing out as much as of the roots as I possibly could. On areas that still have roots like this, we would have had to sit there and probably ended up chipping away more of the pipe than, than the roots as is. But this is definitely significantly a lot better than it was. Here's what looks like another drain tie-in or potentially a clean-out. Looks like a hole in the top of the pipe but it's at the bottom of my screen as you can see. This is still a very maintainable pipe. Here actually in this entire joint here, you can see a uh, starting at your left, at the left of the screen, which is the right side of the pipe, you can see that hairline fracture throughout that entire three-foot section. 
Uh, the longer roots grow, the more harm they cause to the pipe. They will stress fracture and eventually collapse the pipe, and that's why it is so important to do maintenance. Same with this joint. It's just a, uh, a weird spot. Um, those roots are obviously coming in from far left. You can see another, what looks like another drain tie-in. And I believe this is the four to six inch transition because it looks like I'm dropping down into that. So that that's potentially a six by four or a, a six by six Y potentially, uh, but they did not like to run right level as far as for for access. We're back in the four inch diameter sewer pipe. It was extremely root bound more so than the six but you can kind of see I mean there wasn't any way around it to get this pipe this clean it didn't really damage the pipe but it, it can definitely make it look a little coarse and jagged and the longer I'd keep the jetter right here in this section for instance you know trying to get these roots we would just end up chipping away the pipe more than we really want to. There's a definite sag in the pipe there. Just due to settling and whatnot. There's what looks like another drain tie-in or a clean-out. We made several passes at uh, 2 and 3,000 PSI. I did not want to jump up to 4 inch to potentially get a better cleaning. That's probably a 4 by 4 Y. I assume that they uh, probably really poorly capped or plugged. Um, and it's obviously, you know, obviously roots are going into that spot. Getting a little closer to the building's foundation. This is a section of pipe that it looks like they made a, a repair to, and it wasn't permitted. There's no permit or schematic on this. That's a pretty good offset there, too. We're underwater. Now we're back out of it, but you can see this section is kind of acting like an inline P track. You can see, so you flush into it, it fills up and the waste drains out the other side. But over time a lot of the solid waste can build up throughout that section. Didn't make the best transition here either. As you can see, And I'm coming up out of the clean out. That's your video inspection. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.